Hi, this is Gary. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the uh, formula for that, or formulas, and uh, then we're going to go through uh, two examples of how to do it to make sure that we understand the concept. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this. Now, the uh, cylinder uh, drawn on the right has a height of H and a radius of R we want to find out what the volume equals. Well, uh, the formula for volume is going to be, uh, the volume is going to equal the area of the base multiplied by the height. So essentially the volume equals the area of the base times the height or area times height. Now, some of you are sitting here and watching this and saying, well, what is the area of the base? How do I figure out that? And that's a good question. The area of the circle or the area of the base is going to be equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. That is the area of the circle is going to equal or the area of the base is going to equal pi times the radius squared or r squared. And that is our formula for volume. Now next I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down and we're going to go through uh, two examples. Okay, in our first example, I have drawn a cylinder on the right. Uh, the 10 in the white, that is the height, so we have a height of 10. And the question is, if the cylinder on the right has a radius of 5, what is the volume? Now, to calculate the volume, we're going to have to use one of the formulas, and I've, I've kept them on the screen here toward the bottom right. Uh, the volume is essentially going to equal the area uh, times the height. I'll write that down in red here. Volume equals area times height. Now, we know the height equals 10, so we are going to put that 10 down there, so that's one part of the equation. Now, this uh, next part that I've highlighted in blue is the area of a circle, or the area of a base, and that's uh, a vital part of solving our equation. Now, uh, if you'll circle down here, the area is going to equal uh, pi times the radius squared. In this case, uh, the radius is 5, and we know that because the equation says it has a radius of 5, so if we plug in uh, 5, the area is going to equal uh, pi uh, times 5 squared, and that comes out to uh, 25 pi. So we know that 25 pi is the area, uh, circled in blue there, and we know that 10 is the height, which I've circled in green. We just have to multiply those two numbers together to get our volume. Uh, and rewrite the equation down there in green. Uh, v equals 25 pi multiplied by 10, and if we go ahead and simplify that down, uh, V is going to equal 250 pi, and our answer here is uh, volume equals 250 pi. Now for our next example, uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of a curveball here, or if you're pretty smart it might be a change up. Uh, I have a cylinder on the right with a volume of 27 pi, and the question is going to be, if the cylinder on the right has a radius of 3, radius r of 3, uh, what is the height? Now the uh, volume equals the area of the base uh, times the height, and we know this from our earlier work. Uh, what we want to do is we want to solve the equation, and to do that we're going to have to plug in what we know and then figure out what we don't know. Okay, to start off we know that the volume equals 27 pi. I'm going to circle that in white there. So we put uh, 27 pi right below volume. I'm going to put that down in yellow. Uh, next, we know we want to know what the height is, uh, and uh, we'll leave a question mark there, or better yet, I'll just use the letter H. Then we go ahead and we want to figure out uh, what the area of the base is. Now, the area of the base is going to equal uh, pi times the radius squared, and uh, we know that the radius is 3, so the area of the base in yellow below is going to equal pi times 3 squared. If I go ahead and simplify that, um, 
down here. Uh, the volume, or 27 pi, is going to equal uh, 9 pi uh, times h, because we don't know what h is, and that's what we're trying to solve here. So I have 27 pi equals 9h. Now, the way to solve this equation, we will take the common denominator, or uh, we want to get h all by itself, actually. So we're going to take uh, 9 pi and divide that on both equations so we can get h by itself there. Uh, then I have 27 pi divided by 9 pi and then 9 pi times h uh, divided by 9 pi. I cancel out the 9 pi's and then uh, I cancel out the pi on the left side of the equation and 27 divided by 9 is 3 so our answer is h equals 3 or our height equals 3 uh, hopefully this tutorial was of help to you uh, thank you for watching